One of the things that I love about uh, the platform, the history, just I'm using Pro Real Time here, is I love the fact that I can look at a yearly time frame. So this is gold, much longer term view, but it's really nice to see price heading up and then putting back into the moving averages, finding a point of equilibrium, and then starting to break through some resistance. So this is really why the longer term view on gold is more bullish than bearish. And uh, then coming down to the monthly, so we've got a yearly uptrend. We actually also have a monthly uptrend of high lows, high highs. We've finally broken through this resistance, so gold is now effectively free of its constraints and it's immediately gone up to the uh, 1560 level um, and of course the next one above that is then closer towards 1800 and 1775 but let's call it 1800 and uh, so it does need to at some point I would ideally like it to come back and retest this level of uh, resistance for support uh, but it may do that at any point in the future really going down to the weekly is what I'm looking for as well so the weekly here I can see that I've highlighted two zones as well. This is that original level of resistance that I'd like it to retest as support. We could see that price did produce a bullish candle week before last. This most recent week, we've actually had an out sort of almost a failure to continue through on that strong resistance in place there. And what I'd really like to see is price pulling back either towards say a 382 FIB retracement or potentially a 50 foot retracement. So this is that the furthest I would really anticipate, reasonably anticipate it to pull back to, but certainly back towards the most recent level here, closer towards 1425, would be very acceptable for me to find a weekly retracement and then find this weekly trend to resume to the upside. So at the moment, I'm not really looking for longs on the daily because we're too close to this very strong monthly and weekly level of resistance. I'm looking for a deeper retracement, ideally before it then resumes. And then of course, we'll be looking for really nice opportunities once we ultimately break through this 1550 level and continue higher ideally that'll be before the end of the year um so for the moment just really looking for price to accept that it does need to take a bigger breather before continuing upwards in principle i'm still bullish on gold i'm just avoiding it in the shorter term certainly for the coming week not really looking to short it and waiting for it to take a deeper breather before deciding what it wants to do next so that i can join it in the longer term uptrend